Assalamu alaikum. Welcome again. In the last episodes, I talked about the importance of maintaining a great metabolic health rate that helps us in return to reverse the NCDs and live better, followed by the episode about how healthy fasting can boost our immunity system, especially during Ramadan. For me to speak of metabolic health is a true reflection of the success journey that I have, t I have taken in it. My journey started from a story that I know many of you are facing, if not the same, then similar to it. I used to be very obese with metabolic syndrome sicknesses, NCDs or non-communicable diseases like lipid diseases, non-alcoholic fatty liver and PCOS. My immunity system was very weak. Believe me, I used to catch cold with high temperature every single month for between four to seven days at least. I used to have different kind of allergies between skin and environmental respiratory allergies, mainly environmental allergens from dust and pollens. Seven years ago, a hope came to me in a form of a friend, and I moved from struggling those problems into knowing how I could reverse those diseases and I stopped them from ruining my life. I applied metabolic repeat program and I found that this is the way to be proactively conscious about my well-being. I'm privileged to have been in this transformation and it is my responsibility to shed the light and tell others on how their lives can be transformed. In times like these, I think we all understand the true value of health and wellness. Today I'll talk about how healthy fasting cycles and metabolic reboot program are important in each step to bring your metabolic health back and you live with very low effect of NCD or maybe none, full vitality and youthful. But before I speak about the solution, here is a piece of information that opened my eyes wide in the beginning. So I move through the transformation very easy because I started to know how my body mechanism works. Our human body is an amazing system that requires energy to function. The food we eat provides this energy for us to go about our daily activities. Our food made of three primary macronutrients, protein, carbohydrate, and fat. Our bodies are designed to use both carbohydrate and fat for energy. We call this the ability to switch between these macronutrients, metabolic flexibility. Today, because of the way we eat, we have become better at storing energy than using energy, which shows an increase in poor metabolic health around the world. So how does that happen and how do we stop it? After consuming carbohydrates, our bodies convert that food into glucose. As glucose enters our bloodstream, the hormone insulin increases and acts as a gatekeeper to our cells, opening the cellular door, allowing glucose to enter and be used either for immediate energy or stored for later use. If there is extra glucose in our bloodstream, insulin helps our bodies store this excess glucose in our fat cells so we can access it later. When our bodies needed energy and don't have any food handy, they try to turn to these fat cells for energy. As long as insulin levels are higher, the stored energy is locked in fat cells. As insulin comes down, the cells are unlocked and we can start using our stored fat as energy. Healthy metabolic flexibility is, ba is based on our body's ability to use glucose for energy at certain times and for fat energy at other times. When we have increased level of insulin more often than not, we prevent switching from glucose burning to fat burning. This is where our natural metabolic flexibility breaks down. Our bodies need constant fuel. If all the glucose in our bloodstream has been distributed and the energy from stored fat is not easily accessible because of the presence of insulin, we begin to feel sluggish, hungry, and start craving more food. So we eat again. If the food is high in carbohydrates, more insulin is released, we're starting the cycle of energy consumption and storage all over again. Our bodies remain constantly saturated in insulin. Insulin takes a toll on our bodies. We age faster and can begin to develop insulin resistance, which can lead to metabolic disorder and weight gain. 
So how do we stop this cycle and return to our natural state of burning both carbohydrate and stored fat? The solution is, is by following a few simple principles through Metabolic Reboot program. First step, maintain smart eating system and what to eat and when to eat. It's a lifestyle change that helps you learn which foods nourish your body and sustain your health and what are the times considered to have your meal each day. We can better activate the ability to access the extra fat we carry around and use it for energy and to improve our overall metabolic health. This principle includes prioritize protein fuel with fat and control carbohydrates. Protein is critical in building and maintain healthy muscle and bone, and most people don't get enough. Often, hunger and cravings can sabotage the most well-intentioned health plans. Fat, on the other hand, also has no insulin response and digests more slowly than carbohydrates, helping us feeling fuller longer. By limiting carbohydrate consumption and focusing on less refined carbohydrates will allow insulin levels to fall, which enables metabolic flexibility, allowing our bodies to access fat stored to provide the energy required to function. In addition to following these core principles, our bodies need time to allow insulin levels to recede. To help in that, you should build your meal plate as the following. 40% raw vegetables like rainbow salad, 30% lean protein, 20% good carbs, and 10% healthy fats or oil. Here we recommend a form of intermittent fasting we refer to as 4412 by waiting four to six hours between breakfast and lunch and lunch and dinner, and waiting 12 to 16 hours between dinner and breakfast with no snacking in between we can give our bodies the time needed to get into what we call the fat burning zone. The fat burning zone or FBZ is the time when insulin is low and our bodies use stored fat, not glucose, as energy. We will continue with Metabolic Reboot program in the next episode, so I wish you healthy fasting and I see you next time.